Center next week and here with more on exactly what's going on, our buddy Van Ackerman from the Cincinnati Arts Association. Van, always a pleasure to see you. You too. It's good to be here again. Got kind of a team up going on, right? We do. Yeah. Uh, the tenors are coming back to Cincinnati. And right. the tenors used to be called the Canadian tenors. Okay. And you may ask, you know, another tenors group. There are tons of tenors There's groups out there. There's a lot of tenors yeah. out there. There's the so three tenors. So what makes these guys yeah. special? These are four tenors oh. uh, from Canada. Uh, Multi-platinum Juno Award winning, which is Canada's Tony Award. Okay. What makes these guys different? Different is they're so diverse. All right. Um, each one of them has a, a, their own diverse style of singing. There are two classically trained tenors, okay. two pop tenors. Where they do some Broadway and the other things. That's all different, do, isn't it? Yeah, it is really. And they're they're all really good in their own right. So they could stand on their own and do stuff. Okay. They do cover music. Uh, so they they do a Queen song. Um, I'm gonna live forever. They've done um, Stand by Me, um, and. Uh, they're they're just amazing guys who really sing from their heart and the audience just just really love them and as, as you can see they all look pretty good too i had a feeling that uh yeah perhaps the ladies like that woman right there is looking on lovingly uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> they they love it. maybe uh getting something visually out of it as well but you know when you've got a group like this come to town and maybe people haven't heard of them before uh -huh. How much more difficult does that make it trying to get people in the door so they can experience it? It does make it a little more difficult, but they have been here before. They're okay. really well known because they're PBS sensations. Uh, okay. They have three PBS specials. Many have found them through that. They've sung at the Olympics. They've been on the Oprah Winfrey show with Celine Dion. So they've been around for seven years. So gotcha. they're getting more and more popular. And here in Cincinnati, they're also singing with the boy choir. Yeah, that's the Cincinnati team up I was talking boys about. Choir that's cool. Has been invited. Not all of them, but 20 boys will be singing three songs with them doing back up. That's going to be a lot of fun. And what an experience for those young people. Oh my gosh, and first yeah. of all, if you've never seen the Cincinnati Boy Choir before, they're amazing. They really are. They've pretty been around stunning. for 50 years. Yeah. There, there are 100 plus kids in that choir, and they're just just incredible. And to hear them with these voices is going to be amazing. How much time do they get to prepare? with the tenors. You know, do they get any rehearsal time? They at all get, with I them? think, one rehearsal. Ooh. They're off right now learning the three songs themselves. Yeah. Then the day of, they'll put them with the tenors and they'll they'll do it. It's gonna be great. That's incredible. Okay, yeah. if people want to come see the show, break down the details, tickets and all that kind of good uh, stuff. the show is next Tuesday, November third. Okay. Tickets are at our website, Cincinnatiarts.org, or you can call us at six two one arts. 513 arts or just come down to the Aronoff Center and come to our box office. And, you know, we just celebrated the big anniversary for the Aronoff, and I know you've always got yeah. great things going on down there. What, as we look past the tenors, what else do you have going on that we can start thinking about on well, our calendar? We calendars? have White Christmas coming up. We have the Nutcracker coming up for the holidays. Yeah. Uh, we're bringing in Wanda Sykes, which will be a lot Woo! of fun. Mythbusters is coming at and the end of November. And this is their last November. tour, right? This is their last tour, and the show is ending. It's the last time right. they're actually doing the show. I heard about so that. So they're going to be here in, uh, on November 20th. That show is selling really, really well. Yeah, that, that's one of those shows, too, that's been in town in different venues, I know, yeah. over the last few yeah, years. People but love, and the fa families love these guys. It yeah. doesn't get better than that. Hard to beat the Mythbusters. Exactly. There's always exactly. something fun going down at the Aronoff. Yeah. Van, thanks to see you. Uh, good to see you, buddy. Good thanks to for see coming you, too, Bob. Uh,